Hello everyone, we hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the game between the Sydney Sixers and the Perth Scorchers. The game will be played at SCG after a while now. And it's also the last day for you to participate in the FCP investment leaderboard. I'll also be sharing a ranking update regarding it as soon as I get one. But for now, ensure that you put in more leagues, as many as you can, so that you're able to grab some of these top prizes. We have Nikhil Bhai with us today to give you more insights on venue conditions and all about his base team too. Yes, thank you so much for having me. After a long time, few good BBL games. Uh, maybe the break is what is key. Don't do all the pick all the uh, uh, you see, sometimes it will not go as per you. But when it does and when your picks come off, it always feels very good. So yes, may the wells continue. Yes, absolutely. Ensure you cl- keep clicking on the bell icon so yes. it continues for you too. And you also saw the benefits of playing on fan to play We were able to drop Finch and Guptil. And like this great man said, we went with Wells, just went with two batters. And we were able to take in Bao, Webster, Matt Critchley, all of those guys without any headache on who we want to drop and which is the third batter and all of that. So ensure you download the app right now. And now let's get to the venue conditions for the game. So venue conditions, SCG, one of those grounds where chasing is going to be difficult and one of those grounds where we saw across the World Cup too, it did help turn. Nikhil Bhai, your thoughts on that and with the big man Steve Smith making his comeback, especially on this deck and in a T20, how do you see it working out for him? Very interested to see when he comes out to bat. I think hmm. his entry point is going to be uh, very critical. Or dono teams ki jaisi batting rahi hai, pure BBL mein aapko Zakop kafi kam game dekhe jahan pe the batting is overpowered the bowling. So, hmm. in such cases, you will want to back people who are tried and tested. Experience could shadow back or get to uh, again. I don't think he will bowl, but uh, with that, also, I think he has decent value. Kitna kaha, I think that is something that we can take a call on how the lineup shows up. Yes, absolutely. So, expect spin to play the rule on this ground. And now, let's look at the base team for this one. So this is the base team that we have and first up we look at the keeping section here we have opted with both the keeping options like you can see on your screen Josh Inglis and Josh Filippi. We expect that they should be able to play an important role especially for Filippi if he's able to play out his left arm matchup well it should work out well for him. Josh Inglis it would be slightly conditional because if he's batting second and that too in the middle overs it might not be that easy. So it would be a conditional pick. And the two batters we have gone for is Ashton Turner and Moses Enriquez. Keep in mind that James Vince is also not going to be available. Nor is Chris Jordan. So hence, Enriquez's value only increases based on that. True that. So, Dekho, there is a left arm spin matchup for English as well. Uh, and there is a left arm seam matchup for Josh Filippi as well. So, whatever you think, whatever you can make that rotation in multiple combinations. But small league, I will also say that it is better to take both. Because the conditions are sometimes you can see that it is easier to start at times and then it goes differently or sometimes it's harder to start. So based on the conditions on that day, you can take a call. I will suggest take both. If you have a strong intuition that this will not work, this will work, then you can go ahead and do that, uh, make that change as well. Yes, absolutely. The big man is down there at the bottom, Steve Smith. Now, one key thing that you might have seen with all the test players that came back, whether it was Head, whether it was Carey or whether it was Labushin in the first game, they're taking some time to adjust their tempo to the format. And especially on such a track, it will not be easy to do that. So maybe Steve Smith is a choice that you could consider, especially when he bats first and if he's batting one down. But if you see him coming three down, four down, and especially if he's batting second, it really erodes a fantasy value for you. So hence, we have currently not fidgeted with that option. And in the all-rounders, we have gone for Sean Abbott, Hayden Kerr, and Ashton Agar. Sean and Hayden Kerr should be able to do well with their change-ups and with their slow balls on this track. Aaron Hardy is an equally good choice too, but then he's not played on these sort of tracks. And again, we are obviously assuming that it's going to be a typical SCG wicket. If it's a fresh track, then you can pick him. But what we have seen from him in terms of batting has been on the good bounce decks. And he's not bowled in the last few games either. 
बिल्कुल तो देखिए काफी आपके सामने क्लियर है कि अगर हार्ड डेक है जैसे डेक्स पे पौध खेल के आ रही है बाउंस डेक्स पे तो यूल तो अभी से कि अगर पौध पहले बोलिंग कर रही है सो दे शुड बी फर्स्ट ऑन फेवरेट्स टू डू द जॉब बट जो बैटिंग है सिडनी की अगेन बैटिंग की पूरे टूर्नामेंट में वैसी रही है राम भरोसे पर इफ दे आर एबल टू गेट टू वन फिफ्टी वन सिक्सटी देन ऑल्सो लाइक वी सॉ इन दस्ट इन द मेलबर्न डबी विकेट्स विल फॉल इन दी अदर इनिंग्स बिकॉज दो हैव द कंडीशन तो सारा गेम कंडीशन का होगा क्योंकि आपके मेन पिक्स भी कंडीशन के हिसाब से हो रहे हैं यहाँ पे तो अभी के लिए दिस दे सीम द सेफेस्ट ऑप्शन एंड यस ऑन द डे ऑलवेज बैक योर विजुलाइजेशन Yes, absolutely. And in the bowling, we have gone with Andrew Tai, Ben Dwashes, Steve O'Keefe, who we expect for to play this game. And the last pick is David Payne, so we are backing him to do well, especially with his experience, because Lance Morris is known for his pace and bounce. We don't know how much of it we he'll get here. And Matt yeah. Kelly has also not been bowling his full amount of overs, so it's a slightly tricky pick. Hence, David Payne being the overseas recruit recruit becomes a better choice. And this is what the team looks like based on those picks. बिल्कुल तो आप देखें एक काफ़ी ट्रेडिशनल एस एल गेम लगता है अगेन क्योंकि पास क्योंकि आपके पास ऑप्शंस इतने ज़्यादा भी नहीं है तो आपका रिस्क लेवल बिकम्स मीडियम क्योंकि एक सिलेक्ट सी देर आर सर्टन टाइप ऑफ गेम्स नेमली वेन रन ए गेम्स और हीट प्ले वेन इन दोज गेम्स ऑल्सो समटाइम्स यू नो यूल हैव टू पिक बिटवीन द गिवन कैटेगरीज जैसे इन द लास्ट गेम दैट हीट प्ले I was very sure on Basley coming good, but it could have easily not come, and Nasser could have come good. So those are the type of games where you have to take a call between a key all rounder. Here, pe vesa nahi hai. You will still pick a Sean Abbott. You will still pick mm. a Hayden Kerr. You will still pick a Ashton Lega because they are used in that sense, and they invariably give you two a couple of catches. Yeah, uh, you know they contribute as well with the bat at times. So that is how you can figure out that how a game is. तो मेरे को लगता है ये गेम में आप स्मॉली थोड़ा ट्राई कर सकते हो अगेन डिपेंडिंग ऑन योर विजुलाइजेशन अगर नहीं करना है तो मिनी जेल्स आर ऑलवेज द बेस्ट वे आउट यस एब्सोल्युटली दैट शुड बी द केस एंड नाउ लेट्स लुक एट व्हाट वी हैव इन द ग्रैंड लीग ऑप्शंस फॉर दिस गेम So two Grand League options, one from the Sixers and the other from the Scorchers. So first up from the Sixers, I'm going with Steve Smith. So like I mentioned in the startup, that while it might be difficult for him to adjust his tempo, if he's batting one down and he's batting first, he might get that privilege and opportunity. So in that scenario, I'll opt for him. In the scenario where the Sixers bowl first, I'll go with Dan Christian because we see that Sixers generally go. With just five bowling options, if he's the sixth option, and anyone who has a bad day, he'll probably end up bowling two overs. And now with no wins, they they would require a hitter up top because Steve Smith, Curtis Patterson, Dan Hughes, if he plays, all similar kind of tempo in terms of the strike rate that they go at. So Dan Christian can be promoted just for a few hits here and there. So obviously very story based and visualization based. But those are the picks from the Sixers, and the pick from uh, the Scorchers is Matt Kelly. Again, uh, one thing that I've observed with him is even on days where he's bowling just two overs, he's bowling one which is the first over of the game and the other which is the last over of the yes. game. So he is bowling even in important phases in that scenario, and hence he can be I don't not maybe not maybe captaincy vice captaincy, but maybe a tenth or eleventh player in a dream team. So. बिल्कुल काफी fair call. मेरे दो नाम ऐसे हैं जो दो नाम batting section में so very good change there uh, one is moises again uh, experienced guy one of the top run getters uh, for sydney knows the conditions inside out should be able to play decently ab pot ka bowling attack acha hai to hum main back kar raha hu unko to you know come off and have a decent game out and the corresponding guy from the other side is aston turner uh, kafi games ho gaye jab se turner ne kuch kiya nahi hai so i am expecting him to uh, not just roll his arm over but also uh, contribute well with the bat so i think make moises bowling nahi karte nahi to wo ek time pe wo bhi could be an ideal combination but yeah let's see how it goes moises and aston turn yes and ideally aston even end up bowling at perth so you should be seeing him bowling here too especially because up top they have curtis dan if he plays so there are few left handers for him to target too so Yes, yeah. very very good choices. Those. Let's see how they go. And before we leave you guys, we also want to reveal the jersey winner for the Stars game, the Melbourne Derby. 
and the winner is Himanshu Joe Clark, the only right. person who predicted Joe Clark. And uh, so obviously no consideration of the points there because he was the only person who predicted that. So yes, you are the winner, Imanshu. You can DM us your contact details and address details and we'll send over the jersey to you. Thank you so much to everyone who tuned in to the video. Ensure you like and comment. Tell us in the comments who your man of the match for this game is. Have a great one and all the good luck to you. Have a good game, guys. Keep winning.